Welcome to the bike man for you. Coming inside from uh, the winter storm Nemo and we're dealing with some remnants from a storm that we had just before the other hundred year storm that was I think, I don't know when was that, October, last uh, uh, the ha Halloween, right? And uh, now we got this storm here at Valentine's Day or thereabouts. Anyway, this is a remnant or a casualty of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, this person lives fairly close to the salt water. I think the bicycle did a fall over and uh, it got flooded. Is the bike worth it or not worth it? Well, first let's take a look at what the bicycle is. The bicycle was purchased from Larry and Jeff's in New York City. Uh, a good store, by the way. Next, it's a Schwinn and it's a Mesa GSX. And it's an aluminum frame. It says it right on it. Just read the bike. What does it say? It says read the bike. Aluminum, so it's aluminum frame. And you know what else I could tell why it's aluminum is that this, the paint is literally flaking away from right where the water bottle brazons were. And this is a dissimilar metal thing that's going on here, and it's got a white powdery film, uh, stainless steel bolt brazon hot, hot, uh, hot water heater. Yeah, water bottle holder bolt is stainless steel, but there's a steel insert. There's like a rivet that goes in there, they hit it, and that's threaded, and this is dissimilar metal. Brown ugly rust. You can see what parts are steel and what parts are aluminum on a bicycle really easy. You can see that the aluminum arm here on the brake and the, uh, the nut, that's that brown ugly rust from the steel. They can't make that out of anything but steel. Well, I guess they could make it out of titanium, but, you know, and they do sell titanium kits. This chain is, I mean, locked up solid. I need, uh, I need a key to the city to get this chain off of there. I'm a little curious about the derailleur. So in order to make a proper assessment, we're going to have to destroy this chain with the key to the city. I mean, look, <laughs> look at that thing, huh? That is just too much, huh? That is... Uh, Little piece of sculpture. Oh man, I'm gonna have to cut this more than once, I think. Well, you get the idea. I can't get that out of there. Oh, I can move the pulleys. Alright, that's what I was really concerned about. A little air in the tires, I think they're just flat. It needs some love. It's gonna need four cables right off the bat. I could tell they're all rusted and just absolutely nasty. The thing's even got seaweed still on it. I don't know if it's yuck. Uh, you can see the aluminum rock shock is kind of rusting from the paint is flopping. I mean, the bike is damn close to destroyed. I don't know if we're going to euthanize this bicycle or not. Uh, the last time I took in a bicycle, I was telling out quotes of what it's going to cost to put the bike back into shape. And some of you guys are defending me, and some of you guys are like, oh man. And I, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say how much this is going to cost. Um, this is a kill the bike, not kill the bike. You tell me what you think it's worth. Is it worth it? How much is it going to cost to fix it? All of these questions. Uh, all right, you guys got it? How much is it going to cost to fix it? How much would you pay to have it fixed? And the last and final one, it's either yes or no. Fix it or not fix it. Don't forget, rate, comment, and or subscribe. Uh, please, if you could do me another big favor, is share this with somebody. Reach out there and share it. It's all cool. It's all free. Put it through your Facebook. Put it on your Twitter. Please share this with a friend. Uh, other than that, there you have it. This is the first of that series of the Mesa GSX. I don't know. We might be the proud owner of this bicycle, and they're getting a new one. I don't know. Stay tuned. I want you to never fear, the bike man for you is here.